Hey everyone, I'm Tuo Chao Chen. Today I will talk about how we can bring the underwater GPS to the smart devices. In just the last year, both Apple and Garmin have introduced new underwater mobile technology. For example, the Apple Watch Ultra is designed to be waterproof to 14 meters and can precisely check the depth of a diver. These new smart devices open up the opportunity for underwater networking and positioning. In last year's sitcom, we showed that by using the microphone and speakers, we can enable underwater messaging on mobile devices. This year, we asked the following question, can we enable underwater 3D positioning on the smart devices? Let's dig a little deeper into why we care about the underwater positioning. When people go diving for safety reason, it is important for dive leader to know the position of the dive members. This gets challenging when the visibility is limited and the separation between the divers increases. In air GPS, which provides positioning almost everywhere on Earth, unfortunately, fail on the water. This is because the satellite signal cannot easily penetrate the water and can attenuate very quickly. Let's take a look at the typical positioning for underwater robots work. It turns out they use a dedicated and expensive anchor infrastructure. These anchors use sound to localize and are deployed in fixed location, which can be used to triangulate the position of the underwater robot. However, as you can see here, the anchor brace system requires a complex setup, which is a bit excessive for diving activity. Here is our contribution. We designed the first underwater 3D positioning system for the smart devices. Using our system, a dive leader can localize all divers without any anchor infrastructure. We also evaluate our system in various underwater settings, which show promising localization accuracy. Now, let me tell you how our system works. Here is our intuition. In a well-connected network, if we can compute the pairwise distances, we can determine the shape of network topologies. Let's say there are three nodes, A, B, and C. A the leader, and then she wants to know the positions of B and C. Say A can measure its distance to B and C using acoustic signals. Is it enough to determine the topology? The answer is no, because B and C can still rotate along A, and A cannot uniquely calculate their positions. However, if we can also measure the distance between B and C, the entire topology shape will be fixed. So even without any fixed anchors, if we can measure the power distances among enough number of nodes, we can estimate the topology shape and the relative positions. To do this in practice, however, we need to resolve three key challenges. The first challenge is the error in pairwise distance measurement. In the underwater scenarios, we might have significantly mud path and blocking, which may result in very large error in distance measurement. The problem is that the errors can drastically change the estimated topologies. Say, let's say this is actual topologies. If we have a large error measurement between the nodes one and two, as shown in the red line, then if we try to estimate the topology with this wrong distance measurement, the output topology will be drastically different. Our solution is to using iterative algorithm to detect outlier measurement by using objective function as shown as below. If the objective function is above, uh, acceptable threshold. We know that there might be some erroneous measurement happens. See, we drop the link between one and five and recompute the topologies. Since this link is not the erroneous links, the objective function is still high. If we next day drop the link between one and two and then recompute the topologies, the objective function will drastically dropped. This is what we used to detect outliers. 
We note that we limit the number of outlier to three for algorithm complexity and stabilities. The second challenge is that the topology is fundamentally not sufficient for positioning due to the rotation ambiguities. Given the topology here, the diverse positions can still rotate along the axis of the leaders. So we still cannot determine the relative 3D positions of the divers. To resolve this, we introduce the human in loop solutions. Specifically, the leader can point its smart devices to a nearby diver and the digital compass can record its current orientation. Then we can rotate the entire topology until the corresponding edge align with the pointing lines. So by assuming we can see just one diver and then we can adjust the rotation ambiguity. But this does not still give us the unique 3D position since we still have the free pin ambiguity, which is the mirror image position shown by the dotted line here. So we need to determine which of these two mirror image is the real positions of the divers. To resolve this, we leverage two microphones, which is common in our current smart devices. At a high level, if the diver is on the right, its signal will arrive at the right microphone earlier. But if the diver on the left, which is the mirror image, then its signal will arrive at the left microphone earlier. Based on this high level idea, we design a joint maximum likelihood estimator to resolve the free pin ambiguity. So we varied our positioning system in five different underwater scenarios using cheap Android devices. Our results showed that our median positioning error was 0.8 meter and 0.9 meter for four and five device network with low network latency. And our system can still work with reasonable device mobilities, missings, and blockings. Finally, the accuracy of the flipping algorithm increases as the device number increases. To conclude, we present the first underwater 3D positioning systems on smart devices. Taking a step back, here we show that revisiting the distributed anchor free positioning algorithm proposed back in 2000s can still be very useful for modern mobile systems. Furthermore, human in loop design can help solve hard technical problems such as ambiguity, which otherwise be very challenging in our scenario. Thank you.